Hey yo, what's up? It's your girl, Just For Work. I'm coming to you with some good Christian content. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to me. Also, hit that notification bell. Holla! Hey yo, what's up? It's your girl, Just For Work. I'm coming to you with the network audio file. Um, I just wanted to remind all of you guys, um, God's plans are perfect. He does not change. He is perfect in all his ways. And if he gives you a mission and puts you in leadership, guess what you need to do? Follow his plan. Follow each instruction because God is very detailed. He does not make mistakes. He is going to lead you in perfect peace without confusion in the right way. The problem is we deviate from his plan and we do our own thing. And we change and we're not perfect and we mess up and we end up messing up um, blessings that we could receive honor and favor that we could have. If we would just stick to God's plan, we would be all right. This reminds me of Saul when God told Saul to kill off the Amalekites. He did not kill off everything like God told him to. They kept some sheep and some cows. I think this was in um, 1 Samuel 15. If you got time, read the whole chapter. You'll see God gave him specific instructions and he did not follow. That became a problem. Because he rejected God's plan and did his own thing, he was rejected as king over Israel. He was rejected and God regretted even making him king. I mean, can you imagine God regretting putting you in leadership? Can you imagine God rejecting you? I mean, that's like rejection on an eternal level. Something we don't want to experience. And because of that rejection, the Holy Spirit no longer dwelt with Saul. And he was pretty much given an evil spirit to torment him. He walked in opposition of God. When we walk in opposition of God, we walk in rebellion. Rebellion is as of the sin of witchcraft. So the moral to the story is walk with him, talk with him, follow behind him. He will go before you and make your path straight to him. He is perfect in all his ways. He knows the future, the past and everything in between. So why not just follow the instructions? It's that simple. I hope you were encouraged today. And I hope you walk even closer with the Lord than you did before. And you don't deviate from God's plan and you just continue doing what he has called you to do. It's okay if you don't fit in. It's okay if You have to be a little different from everybody else. At the end of the day, who are you living to honor? You're living to honor the Lord. At the end of the day, who is the maker and creator of all things? The Lord is. So, um, just wanted to stop in and let you guys know that. Um, If you got time, please go read that chapter. It is so fruitful. God's word is alive. And he is too. All right. Y'all stay safe. Stay saved. And keep your eyes focused on him. Because if you keep your eyes focused on him, everything else fades away. You don't have to worry. You don't have to be in fear. Because God knows all. He does all. He sees all. And he is our all in all. All right, y'all. Peace.